Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a Mac OS 14 Sonoma VM in Proxmox. To get started, download the latest KVM Open Core from GitHub and either download or create a Mac OS 14 installation ISO. Next, navigate to your downloads directory, right click the downloaded KVM Open Core and extract it using 7-zip to reveal the ISO file. Now open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Expand the Proxmox node name in the left navigation menu, then select a storage device where we can upload our downloaded ISO files. Select ISO images, upload, then click select file and browse to and select the KVM open core file we just downloaded, then click upload. Repeat these steps to upload the macOS 14 installation ISO to the Proxmox host. Once you have both ISOs uploaded, right click the Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Make the VM ID 1400 and give the VM a name, then click Next. On the OS tab, select the storage device with the ISO images, then select the KVM OpenCore ISO we just uploaded. Set the type to Other, then click Next. On the System tab, set Graphic Card to VMware Compatible and the Machine to Q35. Then set the BIOS to OVMF and set an EFI Storage Device. Uncheck the Pre-Enroll Keys checkbox and set the SCSI controller to VertIO SCSI. Then click Next. On the Disks tab, set the Bus Device to VertIO Block. Set the Target Storage Device and set the disk size to at least 60 gigabytes. Then set cache to write back unsafe and click next. On the CPU tab, set the number of cores to two or more and the type to host, then click next. On the memory tab, set the memory value to 4096 or four gigabytes or more and then click next. On the network tab, set the model to VMware VMXNet 3, then click next. Review the summary, then click finish. Select the macOS 14 VM from the left navigation menu, then select Hardware from the sub-navigation. Select Add CD DVD Drive, then select the storage device with the macOS 14 installation ISO and select it from the drop-down. Click Add. At this point you should have both the KVM Open Core and the macOS installation ISO attached to the VM. Select the Proxmox node in the left navigation menu, then Shell to connect to the web-based terminal. Next, we'll edit the VM configuration file in Nano. Update the file name to the VM ID you created earlier if you didn't use 1400. Copy the arguments text from the video description and paste it at the top of the configuration file. Locate the open core and macOS installation ISOs in the configuration file. Edit the lines to replace media equals CD-ROM to cache equals unsafe. Then save your changes and close out of Nano. Select the macOS 14 VM in the left navigation menu, then click Start to boot up the VM. Select Console so we can see the VM's output. At the Open Core menu, press Enter to boot to the UEFI shell. Change the prompt to FS0. Then execute boot.efi in the System Library Core Services directory. Once macOS recovery loads, double-click Disk Utility to launch it. Select the VertIO Block Media device from the left navigation menu, then click Erase. Give the disk a name, then click Erase. Once the format completes, close out of Disk Utility, then double-click Install macOS from the menu. Click Continue to proceed with the macOS 14 installation. Click Agree, then Agree again. Select the disk we just formatted, then click Continue. Now wait approximately three years while macOS is installed. Several times throughout the installation, the VM will reboot back to the Open Core menu. You'll need to press Enter to continue along with the installation. Eventually, you'll make it to the macOS Sonoma system setup. Select your country or region, then click Continue. Verify your language and keyboard layout, then click Continue. On the accessibility screen, 
Click Not Now, then continue on the Data and Privacy screen. Select Not Now on the Migration Assistant screen and set up later on the Apple ID screen. Then confirm continuing without an Apple ID. Click Agree to the Terms and Conditions, then Agree again. Enter a name, account name, password, and an optional hint, then click Continue. Click Continue on the Location Services screen, then click Don't Use to confirm your choice. Select your time zone, then click Continue. Click Continue on the Analytics page, then Set Up Later for Screen Time. Choose either the Light or Dark theme, then click Continue. Follow the prompts on the Keyboard Setup Assistant, then click Done. Welcome to Mac OS Sonoma. Now that we have Mac OS Sonoma installed as a VM, we need to set it up so it can boot without the KVM OpenCore ISO attached. Open a web browser and download the latest release of Mount EFI from GitHub. I ran into several issues with Safari rendering web pages, including GitHub, so I ended up installing the Brave browser so I could navigate the web pages. Open Downloads in Finder, then double click Mount EFI. Right click Mount EFI.command and open with Terminal. If prompted, click Open to confirm the action. Type Y to confirm the installation, then enter your password. Once the menu loads, select the disk where macOS is installed to mount the EFI partition. Back in Finder, we'll see that the EFI partition is now mounted. In my testing, Safari wasn't able to properly render GitHub, so I ended up installing the Brave browser. In any case, we need to navigate to the KVM OpenCore GitHub and download the latest release of the EFI folder. Navigate to Downloads in Finder, then right-click the downloaded KVM OpenCore EFI folder. Select Open with Archive Utility. Copy the extracted EFI folder to the mounted EFI partition. Once the copy completes, click the Apple logo and shut down the VM. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select Hardware from the sub-navigation menu. One at a time, select the attached ISO files, then click the Detach button. With both ISOs successfully detached, start up the VM. If everything was configured correctly, we should still boot into the OpenCore menu. This time it's loading from the EFI partition on the virtual disk. Press Enter to continue booting into macOS 14. Log in using the username and password set up during the installation. Welcome to macOS 14 Sonoma running as a virtual machine in Proxmox.